All right, so let's just uh, get into it. Right here we have the mainline tubing. Check that out, it's about 100 feet. We have the filter and the regulator. So it's down to 12 PSI. This thing is a hole punch. So you just poke holes in the main line. Holy sh shoot. This is the drip tape. So I got the 8ml, the 8mil. So, wow, this is really heavy. Can you even see that? So you can't actually see it's in a package, but we'll open it up. These are just the end caps for the end of the drip tape line. Uh, fittings, connectors, hose barbs, and more different type of connectors here. So, so you can see this. Pretty much it. We've got the uh, instructions for you too if you don't know what you got. So, yeah, pretty excited to get out there and use this. Okay, so here is the drip tape. They were nice enough to uh, tape it for me. Drip tape the drip tape. So you can see it's just the um, the flat tubing. When it fills up with water, that's when it expands. So we've never used drip tape before. That's why it looks literally so thin and so flat. But yeah. Now, if this looks like it's gonna be too much of a pain to lay, uh, the same company Haas sells a uh, drip tape layer too. So I think it's like a wheel hoe. You just run it down the line to your garden and uh, it's much easier to lay uh, drip tape that way. But anyways, that's going to be it for this video. Hope you liked it.